attacking ships can be done from level flight, but it's most effective coupling a mast height attack with the skip bombing technique. Skip bombing involves dropping your bombs so that they land 50 to 100 foot in front of the ship. The bombs will then skip off the water for the remaining distance. The bombs will then either skip over the ship, penetrate the hull, or they hit the hull and sink before exploding. The mast height attack uses skip bombing by flying at about a 50 foot altitude and dropping 2 to 4 bombs around 1000 feet from the ship. The bombs then skip off the water and then hit the ship. This is the most accurate method to use due to the low altitude and distance on the bomb release. So we're going to use the A20. And what we're going to do is begin a level bomb attack first off against a couple of ships and then we'll move into the skip bombing. Over on our left we have the convoy out there. And what we want to do, we want to start out above 2000 foot of altitude and you want to fly parallel to these ships and then you begin an approach to the ship's side. The thing to remember as we're coming in on our attack run is that we want to sequence the bombs to drop as a pair or we can release them individually. It's very important that you remember to use a bomb delay of 3 to 5 seconds. This way you have enough time to get away from the ship and the explosion. So as we're coming down, we're adjusting our power, so we're maintaining 300 miles per hour. I'm going to drop down to between 250 and 300 feet in altitude. Once we're there, we want to level off with a few seconds to spare. And then as we get closer, we're going to release the bombs around 2,000 feet from the ship. This is going to be indicated as the target touches the nose. So there's our release point. So we'll continue straight and level for another few seconds. Ship touches the nose, we release the bombs. And we can break away because the destroyers are on our right, so we're going to make a break turn to the left. Then we're going to descend and start jinking to avoid any gunfire coming our way. You can continue this jinking for as long as you need to until you're out of range. And you can climb back up again to that 2000 foot and then we'll get ready to do a skip bombing attack. But now we'll look at the, how that lever bombing was done through external view. So here you can see we're flying along about 300 miles per hour at 300 feet. We'll release the bombs and we can track the trajectories when we go down towards the ship. Historically speaking this kind of low altitude level bombing was used against heavily armoured targets because it allows the bombs to strike either directly into the ship or it would hit the water in front and then coupling it with the time delay it'll end up sinking beneath the ship and that way when the bombs detonate it causes damage similar to what you would find with a torpedo. This kind of attack is good against unarmed ships but if you're going against ships that can shoot back then I'd recommend taking along a friend who can distract them while you make this attack. Alright so we're back in the cockpit after completing the level bombing attack. So now we're going to show you how to do a mast height attack using the skip bombing technique. So we've climbed back up to about 2000 foot of altitude and we're setting up for another parallel approach. And this time we're going to get shot back at, so we're going to need to be evasive on the way down. We're going to aim to be at 50 feet of altitude at 300 miles per hour and we're going to be releasing about 1000 feet from the target and you'll know this is the case when the ship will touch the bottom of the gun sight glass. As we're approaching the ship now, we'll start our descent towards him. And we know we're going to get shot at, so we're going to begin our weaving right and left. Avoiding the gunfire as we come down. Adjusting our power to maintain 300 miles an hour. As we level off, we touch the bottom of the glass, we release, and we pop over the top. Come back down to that altitude. Continue weaving a little bit as we can to avoid any gunfire behind us and in front. Bottom of the glass again, we release, pop up over the top. Continue being evasive, level off, bottom of the glass we release again, and again we're going to continue being evasive once we get on the back side of this ship until we're at a safe enough distance to inspect the damage. So watching this attack sequence again from the external view, get a good idea of just how low you are when you're performing this kind of attacking technique. Here we can see we're staying evasive coming down and we're leveling off a second or two before we reach the ship. Release the bombs, pop up over the top and here we'll actually see how the bombs will skip off the water. There's the skip, the bomb is striking and looking at it from a side on perspective we can see the bombs will strike about 50 to 100 feet in front of the ship 
and they skip over the remaining distance and then strike into the side of the ship. So here continuing this attack, see me staying evasive, getting close, we release, pop over the top, you know the bomb strike the hull of that ship, continuing on again nice and low, we release, bomb skip, strike the side of that ship, and then comes the explosion. So there's one ship left in the convoy, it's just an unarmed cargo ship. So I'll swing back around and perform another skip bombing attack against this target. So we're getting a little bit of altitude back. And looking over at our last pass against those three ships, you can see they've all pretty much suffered critical damage, so we don't need to finish them off. I'm a parallel to this cargo ship, so we'll begin our descent, get down to 50 foot of altitude at 300 miles per hour again. We don't need to be evasive because he's not going to shoot at us. Level off, bottom of the glass, release the bombs, pop up over the top. Now watch this from external view. Coming in nice and low, release the bombs, bounce off the water, strike against the side of the ship. That's going to be a direct hit, that takes it out. That completes the tutorial on how to do some anti-shipping techniques including the low altitude level bombing and the mast height attack with the skip bombing technique. If you liked it, let me know using the like button and a comment, and don't forget to be a subscriber using that bell icon, and this way you can be notified of new videos and content when it's released.